How many terminals are there at Heathrow Airport? See. Well, I'm going to say five, and yeah. you're. Gonna... <laughs> Alan, what do you reckon? The three are on the airport. So the other two are further away. Is that what it is? No, it's that there are four. There is no terminal one. Uh, well, there oh, is, no. that there's a sign... Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, the sign is incorrect. Terminal 1 closed down in 2015 and all flights were diverted to Terminal 2. It was sort of sad, really, because when it opened in 1969, it was the biggest passenger terminal in the whole of Western Europe. And by the end, it was sort of tragic. There were, like, five shops and 20 planes. And they did it to expand to Terminal 2, so there is no longer a Terminal 2. So when they're always on about building a third runway, they could just get the one out of... One. But a runway and a terminal. Yeah, yeah. yeah just do that. <laughs> Has anybody here heard of Terminal 6 at Heathrow? Oh, is that the one you run at and if you're a wizard, you get through? <laughs> <laughs> Five and a half. Yeah. It's supposedly reserved for famous people, royals, uh, heads of state and Have stuff. you been in it, Sandy? I have never. It is a posh lounge behind an unmarked door in uh, uh, Terminal Sandy, 5, apparently. when you fly, do you get whisked off, like... <laughs> yeah. Not with the normal people? You have to pay. Uh, it's £2,750 plus VAT. Could yeah. any of us get whisked for Anybody two? could get whisked, anybody at all, as long as you've got the money. So you pay uh, that on top of your normal ticket? Yeah. There's no shops there at all, but, but, you know, big brands like Dior will bring stuff to you. And what I love is you get taken to the plane by a BMW. So you have been whisked? I've read and salivated. <laughs>